Hey guys and welcome to my second video. If you want to see how I did this look then please continue watching and also please like, share and comment. Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to start off by using MAC Prep and Prime BB Beauty Balm and this is in the shade Light and this is a compact. So I'm going to start blending it in on my skin using the sponge that's been provided by MAC in the compact and I'm just going to be blending that in all over my face and just make sure you get your neck, your hairline and everywhere just to get that full coverage. Once we've finished doing the face, we're going to go in by using L'Oreal's True Match Concealer and this is in 10 Ivory. I'll just be applying this on the blemishes that I have, I have a couple spots here and there, so I'll just be applying them um, all over my blemishes. So I'm just blending it out with my fingers because I think that it gives better coverage than using a brush. Now using B's Be Sculpted Contour Kit in 109 Light, I'm going to be applying this on my cheekbones, my forehead and my jawline. Here I'm brushing the contour just a little bit above my cheekbones and this will give me definition in my cheekbones to give me that really nice high cheekbone look. I'm now going to put it on my temples and at the top of my forehead. Now I have an obvious five head so a little shadow is needed for me because I need to make that forehead smaller. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be using Sleek's Brow Pencil in 718 Dark. And I'll just be filling in my eyebrows and just all the sparse areas that I have with this pencil. My eyebrows aren't perfect so it does take me time to fill them in and get them at the shape that I want because one eyebrow is usually longer and the other one's usually shorter, so it, it does take me some time to get them somewhat symmetrical, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> now I'll be using Avon's primer in light beige, and I'll basically just be putting this all over my eyelid just to keep the eyeshadow in place and making sure it doesn't crease. Once both eyes are finished, we're going to be moving on to eyeshadow and I'll be using B's Be Vivid Eyeshadow in 107 Cinnamon and this is just an everyday colour, I really love this colour and I use this a lot and I'll be using the base brush by Real Techniques. I'm just patting it all over the lid but then I start to create an angle and that's how I usually have my eyeshadows. I don't have them in a circular shape, I usually have it at like a angle towards my eyebrow. Using Jazuli's eyeshadow palette which I got off of Amazon, I'll be using the light grey and the dark grey next. And using Real Techniques angled brush I'll be taking the light grey and putting that all over on my bottom part of my lid because I have a double lid I have to put it on the lower lid because when I open my eyes the hood covers it so I kinda have to deal with this Now taking the darker shade of grey, I'm going to be using the same angled brush but I'm going to put this colour right underneath my brow bone 
and I'm just going to be blending this not too much to the middle but just slightly and I'm going to create a V on the outer corners of my eyes. Using the same cinnamon colour, I'm just going to go above the dark grey eyeshadow just to blend out any of the harsh lines. Using Barry M's eyeshadow pencil, which I called Champagne in the previous video, I'll just be putting this on the bottom part of my lid, just underneath where my eye has a hood. So, And I'm using this so that the glitter that I'm going to be putting on after sticks to it better and also it shines a bit more better. I'll be blending it out with my fingers because I think that using my fingers it doesn't take as much product off as much as a brush. And now taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be using Bee's Stunning Vibrant Eye Shimmer in 182 Moonshine and I'll be using that small brush just to pat it all over the bottom part of my lid. And now taking my favourite liner, which is L'Oreal Super Liner, I'll just be lining my eyes and giving myself a nice cat flick. Using Rimmel's Scandalize Waterproof Cold Pencil, I'll be putting this on my waterline. I have super sensitive eyes, so I really had to hold in the tears not to ruin my makeup. Now taking some lash curlers, I'm just going to be slightly curling my lashes because I'll be putting on some false lashes. So just by curling them, I'm just going to give them a little lift so they kind of blend in with the false lashes. I'll be using Ardell 117s which are some beautiful natural looking eyelashes and I'll also be using Lash Fix which is some super good glue which literally stays on forever. Well, not forever, <laughs> but now I'll be using Max Factor's Clumptify and I'm just putting a slight layer on just so that the lashes, my real lashes stick to the false lashes a little bit better and they'll blend in well. Now I waited just a little bit for the glue to get tacky but now I'm just going to be sticking them on my lash line so some people are saying to stick it on your lids, no do not stick it on your lids, stick it on your lash line to make it look much more natural so it looks like it's actually your lashes joined to your lash line. It took me a while to get used to doing false lashes but always practice and eventually you'll get the hand of it like I'm still okay, I'm alright at doing eyeliner but uh, 
I'm kind of getting better, so always practice. You'll know when your lashes are fully fixed, when you can like touch your lashes and move them and like flick them, they will not come off. So I'll be using the same mascara, which is the Max Factor Clump Defy Mascara, and I'm just going to put a little layer on the false lashes and on my real lashes, just to blend them in a bit more, to make them look less false and more natural. Now taking B's Be Cheeky Blusher in 096 Rosy Brown, and I'll be using the same Primark blush brush that I was using in the previous video and I'm just gonna slightly dust it on my cheeks. Now using MUA's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter, I'll be putting this at the top of my cheeks, down my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow and on my chin. Now using my favourite lip liner which is GOSH 002 Antique Rose, I'll be lining, just I'll just be lining my lips, I won't be filling them in, I'll just be slightly bringing it towards my lips but not filling it completely, but this is my favourite liner, I need to buy a new one soon, it's running out, but I just think this is just the best liner I've used, it's so soft and smooth and it doesn't drag your skin so much, which is really nice. Now using number 7's lipstick, which says Moisture Drench, it is in Spice, and this is a nice neutral lip colour, it's a very nice pink, and I like these kind of colours, so I just said, yep, yeah, I have to have this. And here is the final look. See you in my next video and thanks for watching.